for centuries, Romanians have used an organic mud found in dead lakes to treat bone and joint diseases like arthritis. Though there's no scientific proof the mud works, a pseudo-scientific drug is being made from it. Pelomar, an anti-inflammatory substance, is the result of a rather crude mud straining and dehydration process. The resulting powder is used in everything from cosmetic facial creams to asthma inhalants to injections that reduce the inflammation of arthritis and skin diseases. One reason for Palomar's popularity here is that unlike consumer goods such as food, gasoline, clothing and other products, it is available on just about every store shelf and is very affordable to the average Romanian. The drug created by Dr. Ionescu Kalanesht was approved in Romania after eight years of study. It received an international trademark in 1972, but Dr. Kalanesht hasn't been able to introduce it in the United States. He says the costs are too high and competition from American drug companies too strong. But perhaps the biggest barrier is the strict and lengthy U.S. Food and Drug Administration approval process, which requires definitive answers about a drug's safety and effectiveness. We don't explain the Pelamar like, like chemical product. He's even applied it to treat scleroderma, a rare and often fatal connective tissue disease. It can affect all organs of the body and has turned this Israeli child's leg as hard as wood. After receiving no hope from American doctors, his family got reassuring promises from the Romanian doctor. He promised us, yes, he promised that the leg will be like the other one. After one month of ultrasound treatments with Pelomar, Dr. Kalanesht says the child's leg has improved more than 25 percent, and he goes on to predict it'll be completely healed in six months. Scleroderma is a funny disease because um, if you took a look at a hundred patients with scleroderma and didn't treat any of them and took a look at them a few years later, approximately 10 percent of them would have normal skin. Whether or not Pelomar works, Dr. Kalanesh can continue to make optimistic promises to his patients because if the treatments don't work, they have little, if any, recourse. In Bucharest, I'm Janet Lawhon reporting for NBC News.